Well, I still haven't figured out how to do the uh, intro music on here. That'll be on the next episode. I promise you we'll hook that up. But welcome to the latest episode of Disturb, the American Horror Story Podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe that was our theme music. Uh, I'm Rob Southgate with me. Uh, Chris Mao. Hey, Chris. Hi, Rob. So, so we have not talked about this at all i literally just watched it and i am full of things i want to talk about me me too i got done about a half hour ago so oh my gosh uh before we jump in i do want to once again mention we have been putting all of our links on our link tree you can go to l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash disturbed and from there or i'm sorry disturbed pod so you got to make sure you put pod on there and right now we have links to, I'm going to just read through our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can get, if you if you uh, are looking for us on a different podcatcher, we're on Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Libsyn, Player FM, Owltail, which I'd never heard of, Podbean, Listen Notes, Pod Paradise, TuneIn Radio, and Radio Public. All of those links are on our link tree now. So if you're somebody who listens on Podbean, you can go there, click on it, boom. Now you know where you can get it, where you can subscribe. These are some really cool podcatchers. I had not seen a lot of them, so I'm really excited that we're there. Uh, and it also has our webpage on there, which has, if you go to that, it has uh, a donate button if you want to support the show and help keep things going. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also go, like if you go to our Facebook page, uh, you can communicate with us. We love to get in conversation. Uh, also, you can send us an email. Let's just go to the main one until I get it worked out. Uh, you can send that to, unless I have it on here. Hold on, already screwing things up. Uh, and let's see if I find it. And I did. You can send email to us at disturbedpodcast at gmail.com. Nice. And I am going to put that link right now on here. Uh, disturbed podcast at gmail.com. I hope that works. I don't know how that'll work as far as uh, something you can click on, but it's here. Uh, our email, it says. So there you go. That's our that's our link tree. It's got everything on it. We shouldn't have to go through all that every time. All we should have to say is, hey, man, go to link tree. Yeah. And that's, that's it, a cool. That's a that's a from what little I've seen, that's a really cool um tool to use to get this. Yeah, thing. yeah. And I don't know if it worked or not. Uh Chris, if you go to Linktree, you could always look that up for us. But uh yeah. what it did was it took me to our page, which you wouldn't have the password for, but maybe it takes you to your own Gmail and it sends an email to us. So we'll we'll figure that part of it out. So let's get into this slash dance. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. What a what a great name and what a great uh great episode. You know, I think we talked a little bit about it. I was kind of on the fence about this season and this one just got me. Um, oh, uh, so you know, great. There were twists upon twists upon twists and it's every, you know, and like I think we suspected everybody is completely a disaster in this show and um it's great. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I I was uh, I was surprised repeatedly through this one, <laughs> like stuff I just didn't see coming. There there were things I was questioning, like I was questioning. God, I, I hate to say it this way because I don't want you to think that I actually like knew anything was going on. I really didn't. Right. But I was questioning, like the nurse, something seemed weird about her. Well, sure. Well, something weird about everybody. So I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, Exactly. Especially with her, yes. But there was something that I was like, and I wasn't even thinking like, oh, she's in on it or she's, it was just, there was something I was like, she didn't seem, okay, I'll tell you exactly what it is. I can, I can actually pinpoint the moment now that I'm thinking about it. It was in the last episode and we may have talked about this on, uh, on the last episode. Mm -hmm. uh, when they went into the nurse's office to find the keys and uh, what's her name went over and started looking through Brooke, started going through the, the desk trying to find the keys. And Rita, the nurse, just stood there. Right. 
it's her office. Wouldn't she go over wait, to her own desk wait, and just grab wait, it? Can, can you see if I Rita? <laughs> yeah, right, right, Rita. <laughs> uh, I'm putting join us live now on our Facebook group. Good. So hopefully somebody will join us here. We'll get. Do we have any listeners going on right now? Not yet. That's okay. Uh, okay, I'm back. So um, let's see. I already did forgot you, what uh, I was did saying. You see Ted Vocal posted the link. Did you share that one? That's the one I shared. Okay. So hopefully this, that'll work. This is pretty yeah. amazing. So. Yeah, get vocal. Yeah, I'm completely digging it. Uh, I'll have something to talk about with that later in the show. Stay tuned. Ooh. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I was completely. I was completely. Uh, struck by the fact that she didn't get the keys and then tonight she runs over and she starts going through the thing to get the keys after he jumps through he comes through the window at her and i was like why didn't she do that the last time something seemed weird well i mean as we go forward we now we know that they aren't really her keys so she has no idea what they are because she's probably looked at them for like two seconds and she's like, um <laughs> right. what's up so well no those those i bet those are her keys no, because she got there somehow. Oh no, okay. she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, so spoiler: she got there so, in the car of yeah. the real Rita. So this whole entire episode is they're doing backstories on a lot of the minor characters. I guess is the way to put it, or on yeah. some of the they're doing backstories on on some of the the people. And who we think is Nurse Rita is not Nurse Rita. She is actually some psycho psychologist that. Um, wants to interview all these serial kill, killers and mass murderers. Yeah, it's like man, why they, what's why it called? They, man, mind hunter. It's like mind, yeah, it mind is, hunter. It's mind hunter, but it's like religious psycho mind hunter. Um, yeah, she's whatever. got that whole thing about Ted Bundy where she keeps saying it's pornography and yeah. the killing in Asia that caused uh, right. men to go crazy and become well, serial killers and screen yeah, killers. Like, like, you know, Vietnam flashback and whatever. So. Yeah, so she's not the real killer, and um, she actually ambushes Nurse Rita on the way up there and steals her great yellow rabbit convertible. Um, you know, typical. You know what you think the you know the 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 person who looked like Rita would drive. Um, right. You know, the, you know, here she is, like this California girl, blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh my ball. God, she the was first, she first. was right out of the eighties. Oh, yeah, she was right out of the eighties, and. So Rita kills her, takes her car, um, and drives up there. So that's why I don't think she could find the keys because she had no idea what they looked like. And she probably was like, uh, yeah, keys? what's going on? But I mean, but yeah, uh, at the time I didn't know. And I was thinking, I wondered why. And then when I saw her, I forgot that until I saw her uh-huh. go to the desk. And then I was like, and then she goes, got him, found him. I'm like, what? What? Yeah. So yeah, now exactly. we know. Now well, we know. You know. It could have just been but, stupid, you know, typical slasher film i can't find the keys i can't find the keys and then at the absolute yeah but it wasn't i got them and then your head gets locked off yeah Um, oh that's later uh no but it wasn't it wasn't that uh you know here's here's another thing about rita as long as we're talking about rita when she went in to talk to uh man it's orla brady is the name of the actress uh because we have a good friend named orla brady that we saw over that we're friends with when we went to ireland we went and Saw her and her, uh, well, to us, her new husband. They've been married quite a while, but it's the first time we'd met him. Uh, uh, Dr. K, the one who, she bit it in the last episode. Right. Uh, we see her again, and she's uh, meeting with, quote, unquote, Rita. Right. Right? And the first thing she says is, oh, you don't look very tired for a graduate student in a doctoral program. And it goes on, and I thought, I I thought there's going to be more to this story than even what we know right now. What we know is she is studying serial killers, and she went and she saw Jingles, and she's got this hypothesis that she's trying to work. And we're like, okay, this is this is what the story is going to be. But that comment about her not being tired, I don't think she's even a psychologist. I think she's going to be. Either a reporter or a super fan of serial killers, or 
a former like maybe her kid was killed by one of these serial killers and she's going to learn what she can and eradicate the serial killers like she's flipped and become the psycho she's a she's dexter she's a serial killer of serial killers that could be it i mean who who knows although although dexter didn't kill innocents whereas for her i don't think she cares right no i think she'll kill whoever to get to whatever but i don't know if she's there to kill jingles well i mean she she set it up so he could escape and told him exactly how to escape um you know, which was a little convenient, but it's it's kind of it was it was kind of <laughs> yeah, cute. it sure was, man. Yeah, hey, all the camps opening here. Um, all you have to do here's is three things I want you to do. Right, yeah, exactly. You know, if it took three steps, like you couldn't figure that out. Um, right, but but here, I I did like that he didn't talk for ten years. He hasn't talked for ten years. The first thing he says is, uh, "Oh, I lost." It was something so. Oh ludicrous. no, um, high fructose. High fructose oh yeah. Sugar. It's in everything. That could be what's affecting us. High fructose corn syrup, which is a total like two thousands thing to say. It's yeah. not even like a, it's not even like an eighties thing to say. It's like you would say that now. Yeah, it's right. a high fructose corn syrup that's killing everybody. So that's really great. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's great that they do that. But they still don't really address the fact that he may not be the serial killer. That he may just be a de- deranged guy and didn't do the killing because. Right. He still, we, we still don't know if he did it because he goes, I went into a haze. I said I had a psychotic break and um, I did all these murders. Yep. Huh? Maybe yep. it wasn't him. Who knows? Maybe it was her. Maybe it was, you know, who we didn't see this uh, episode. So, well, you know, that was just it. When he, when she handed him the newspaper and it had the picture of the camp opening, his hand, his finger went immediately to her. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and he said, just seeing her makes me want to stab her a lot. Right. Right. So Margaret. Could, her name is Margaret. It's Leslie yeah. Grossman's character. It could I be wanna, he's mad at her because he killed all the she killed all the kids and he just wants to kill her because she's bad. And he's not bad. He's just creepy janitor dude that's you know but random. maybe he's maybe he's a serial killer version of a Manchurian candidate. Maybe well, he, uh he's a serial killer or not. We don't know. Or, I'm sorry, he's a spree killer. Right. I believe. Uh, because he did this all in one shot. Uh, was, was but I'm wondering, was it, was it this show that said that? No, vigilante he's a mass. Killer? He's a mass murderer. He's a mass murderer. He's not a serial killer. We don't know if he's a mass murderer or not. We just uh, we assume. No, right. But what they've shown us is he's a mass murderer. The only killing he ever did was at that camp. We do know that he did some killing at the camp. We've seen him killing tonight. He is a mass murderer as of. Everything wow. we've seen now, yeah. <laughs> as of uh, the best guys who dress right? up as him, guys who dress up as him, and then oh my god, <laughs> that was great. They show up and like, dude, it's just a prank. It's like, what? <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. That was another one I didn't see coming. The, the no. two guys walk up and they're like, ha ha ha, we're Mr. Jingles. What did yeah. they call themselves? Like Jingle, faux Jingles or something? I don't know. Who I cares? Uh, but then there's the the, the, the guy uh, they called him Wide Load. Yeah. Uh, there, yeah. that's what it says on IMDb. Uh, I loved this exchange because he walks up and Jingles is like totally ready to cut this guy down, and the guy's like, "Hey, man, I'm just one of you guys, and please let me do this." And he's the coolest. So Jingles lets him go, well, and, and so I love how the guy him. trips as he walks like, away. He's like looking. Well, no, he goes, my, I know my mom paid you to take me, and I just want to get this on. And Jingles was looking at him like, there's one bigger loser than me, and it's this guy. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> I can't I can't kill you. Then <laughs> <laughs> lets him go. Well, and then he gets killed in the pit, which was great. Oh, that, my that was, God. That was a great exchange. Um, oh, my God. When, and it, and it, when the guy was standing over the pit, you knew it, right? You knew it was going to be wide load that they were going to push in there. Even the two tickets to the gun show. So to preface this. Oh, you you know what? He's got a machete. I got two tickets to the gun show. He's got a knife. I got two guns. So Ray and Chet fall into a spike trap, which is kind of like right out of Rambo. So they're pulling in all the 80s movies. Well, Chet gets impaled on a spear, like through his shoulder, probably not going to kill him, but it hurts and it's bad. 
Well, it so, might not kill him, but that could be, I mean, that could have punctured a lung, uh, which they didn't play with yeah, that. Kill him, yeah. They, they had it. It was funny because when it first showed it, it looked like it was pretty far down, which right here, you're getting you're getting lung, right? Well, yeah. But then if you watched later when they pull him off, it was up here. So that's right. shoulder meat. He might bleed out, but yeah. he might well, not. So, I mean, this is the kind of thing that's very survivable. It's all the steroids. He's fine. He'll be okay. <laughs> he, can, he can make it. He's right he, it up. He'll be fine. He's pickled. He's pickled. But so, I mean, so they fall in this bike trap. Number one, before this happens, Ray spills his guts why he's escaping. So here's another backstory. Turns out Ray was in some preppy fraternity, and some guy accidentally, some drunk pledge, falls down the stairs during Hell Night. And Ray, of course, overreacting, says, yeah. oh, my God, this guy's dead. I'm going to push him off the cliff in his car and make it look like it's an accident. And then the guy wakes up. Yeah, is, maybe maybe you check his pulse, you know? Well, he, he checked his pulse. No, he didn't. He, no, he, he didn't. Did. He went no, over, he I, but he didn't actually because there would have no. been a pulse. He went right. like, he may have done this, but he doesn't He doesn't right. know what he's doing. He, well, he just off, freaked he out. With, first off, he did it with his thumb, which has, you have a pulse in your thumb, so you never take a pulse with your thumb. You do right. it with your finger. So, you know, not technically whatever. So he did the, the common, I'm going to reach for his neck, they think he's dead because he's all freaked out. Goes to push him over the cliff. The guy wakes up, and then he pushes him off the cliff, and the guy supposedly died. We don't know. Um, but, you know, the... Yeah, once again, we didn't see that he died. And if you watch the way that car went down there, I mean, it didn't, like, flip over or anything. No, that guy could explode. easily survive. Right. It just rolled down the hill. Not probably So maybe hurt. he's going to show up, and, <laughs> and not that he's going to chase after Ray at this point. No. So, so then Ray... He's not going to gun. show up. The Ray storyline's over. Yeah, well, it is <laughs> over. It. So they, they, they do this. He spills his guts to Chet, thinking that Chet's passed out. And Chet's like, no, dude, I hear the, heard the whole thing. And so then Ray <laughs> You're messed up, up, man. <laughs> Ray flips out and leaves Chet there. And, you know, Chet, of course, is like, I'm not going to tell anybody. Um, and then Ray <laughs> takes off. So, <laughs> you know, it's fantastic. So then later on, um, what's Matt? What's his character's name? What's the Which guy? One? The gun show guy. What's his name? Oh, I got to get it for you because he's Trevor. too much. Trevor, right? Trevor Kirchner. Trevor. So yeah. Trevor and Xavier find Ray. They're with Montana after their excursion with the, you know, their, their thing in the cabin. Ray takes off. And so Xavier and uh, Trevor are walking around. They hear Chet yelling. They save Chet out of the pit. And as they're pulling him out, they see what they think is Mr. Jingles walking around. Right, right. Happens to be the loser kid. Yeah, wide kid, load. Of course, wide load. When when they right. put Chet up against the tree like that, I had another Friday the 13th flashback. I oh, thought yeah. it was going to be a thing when the, when he puts the zip line around the guy's neck. And, you know? Well, well, hey, they've been at that tree. Everybody stops at that tree. Right. Everybody stops at that tree. And the pit is like five feet from there. Didn't anybody see that before? I mean, it's, not the it's a giant pit. It, it's not like it's there. And the, those guys were screaming the entire time. And, and how how dumb are those guys when they're like, oh, oh, Jingle set a trap. And then the guy goes, maybe the other guy did it. The other guy, wait, how much time do they think these guys had? That was a giant pit. You can't <laughs> dig that in like five minutes. No, no kidding. So that seems to me like it's going to be Margaret did that. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna call call that Margaret did that. Yeah, because Jingles hasn't been over there. It's probably a trap. If Margaret is really trying to capture Jingles, maybe right. she's trying to capture him so he can't tell her secret. Exactly. But but right. regardless, maybe that's her trap. Is that? But these boneheads fell in and <laughs> and now they killed somebody. And well, they're, they're, hey, they they mentioned our nurse tonight or our, uh, our cook. They mentioned Bernie. Yeah. And they, they showed her in the previews for next week. So, yeah. Oh, did they? So, I didn't see the previews oh, for next no, week. No, the previews for next week. No, no they show it because Xavier, as they're running around and they literally are at the cars and can leave, Xavier and Trevor are like, we got to save Bernie and Margaret because we're not leaving anybody behind. People they met like five minutes ago. Um, right. Whatever. So the, the, they're, they're intent on going to save, you know, save them. But Ray's down there with him, and Ray freaks out because he's a chicken piece of poop. And <laughs> so Trevor gives him the keys to the um, gives him the keys to the motorcycle. And this was a great scene too. 
Ray and Montana go to get on the motorcycle to go call the police and come back. Yeah. As soon as they get down there to the motorcycle, who shows up? Richard Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, who Ray fought. Which is bizarre. Yeah. When he kicked the door in earlier in the episode, I'm like, it's like he's like supernatural. Once again, very Friday the 13th when he comes yeah. through the, the window, right. when he kicks the door and the whole door right. comes off the hinges and falls. I'm like, which they what abuse, is going on here? Which they abuse the hell out of in the first opening scene. Oh my right. God, the doors get knocked in, go through the window. Right. I mean, it's like, right. but yeah, so Richard Ramirez goes in the cabin. Um, Ray being the chicken piece of poop that he is, is, he wants to run and leave the other three people. He's like, well, I know I can run faster than three of you. Runs basically right into Richard Ramirez. Richard Ramirez slashes him up in the arm. And um, instead of leaving him, Chet came back to save his buddy and knocked Richard Ramirez out by tackling him. He's a big dude. Whatever. Threw him against the wall. And so they they all escape. Do you think he's really Richard Ramirez? He looks like it, don't you think? Doesn't mean he is. Because right. now we know what we found out in the last seconds is he's working with Montana. Yeah. That's they're trying to they're so trying to kill Brooke. Right. Are, and are or they, capture well, Brooke or well, whatever it is. Well, she said, have you killed her yet? And is this going to flash back to the wedding, to her red wedding? Maybe it's like, you know, somebody was in there. Maybe, you know, she's a friend of Brooke's ex and they don't, we don't know. And. You know, because there's got to yeah, be. Yeah, it could be. Why, why would could Brooke be something? Want, why would Montana want Brooke to die? That they right. just quote unquote met like three days ago. Right, right. But that also makes me wonder if she was, if this guy, let's say this is her boyfriend. We'll just go with right. boyfriend. Yeah. Um, looks enough like what you would think the Night Stalker would look like, and she was using him like you're going to do this. Everyone's going to think it's the Night Stalker. Right. Uh, we can get away with this this way. So maybe he's not the Night Stalker because it's very weird. But I think we have an explanation as to why he showed up at the camp and all that stuff where we're like, what is going on? Is he real? Obviously. I think, yeah, she's telling him. She's baiting him. She's bringing him, not baiting him. She's informing him and bringing him along. Right. That kiss was fabulous. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm like, I, When that happened, I was like, if, if they, did you notice there was a sound? Yes. And I thought, did she stab him? No, she bit him. Yeah, right. She bit him and then pulled him in for the kiss. Well, no, she... Oh, no, she had him in for the kiss and then she bit him. And then she bit him and he went, ah, and then went away. And then she said it. Because she's the one really pulling the strings. So now we know, we know Montana is, I I hesitate to say a bad guy, but a bad guy. Yeah. Uh, And we know that "Quote unquote," Rita is a bad guy. Right. Uh, we we are assuming Margaret is a bad guy. She is. Jingles is definitely a bad guy. Whether he is w- the bad guy we think he is or not, I don't know. Right. Uh, let's see. The first was Ray the first of our group to die. Yes, Ray is the first killer death. And hold on, there goes yeah, the, the, very the, trope. The, the, yes, the black guy isn't going to be the first one to die. What do you guys? He dies a good death. It's not stupid, but you know oh, it's coming. It's fantastic. I mean, when he was riding that motorcycle, you're like, "What's going to happen?" I thought it was going to be a, a wire across, and it was going to chop oh, his yeah. head off. But instead, but jingles. Yeah. <laughs> you get a home run with that. So, Ray oh gets my on the motorcycle. So, Trevor, be careful. She's a beast. She's a fickle beast. You got to be careful. With, you know, does yeah. Awesome. You know. Oh my god, she'll she'll throw you off. Yeah, he's. Unbelievable. Well, when he takes- Every, yeah, everybody is. I mean, everybody right. really is. This is so fantastic. And the thing is, to me, I'm a huge fan of those 80s horror movies. Right. So this is just like every trope. Oh, the yeah. way the dialogue is written, the way the characters are acting. There's no way. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. This is American Horror Story. There is no way this is the show we're watching. Sure, absolutely. There is no way. Is it going to be next episode? Is it going to be the episode following it? I don't know. Well, because we, we're on three, so we'll we'll get one or two more like this, and then something's going to happen. Um, I don't know. Who knows what it's going to be? But it's it's great. Um, you know, cut. I, I love it. He's driving. Uh, what a ninja motorcycle. Yeah, Those things are like. 
rockets. So yeah, it's a crash driving, rocket. So he's driving down the, you know, I mean, they're just like so powerful. He's driving down the road, maybe not going that fast, but going fast enough. He gets his head cut off and the thing coasts like 20 feet and then falls over. It was so bad. Like, I mean, you know, I, I, I was just watching that. I'm waiting for the bike to like flip over the fence and explode. It just kind of goes and he's no head and the bike falls over. They probably didn't want to waste a, you know, a fifteen thousand dollar motorcycle and crash it. So they just had to kind of lay it on the ground and we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. But but Trevor, wow. Trevor had some great lines. Uh, you're 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 stuck on your own petard. petard. Oh my god! I'm like, oh, he said that. I'm like, he did not just say that. I'm like, <laughs> and he completely yelled it and pointed at him. Yeah, what an idiot! That was excellent. Excellent. It's, it's so bad. I mean, he just keeps got the gun. I was waiting oh, for the, the, guns, the, the gun show. He's going to pull that out. It's going to be great. He's he's so sappy. It's so bad. Oh, it's just, yeah, it was just so like satisfying to me. It was so <laughs> funny. I, I laughed so much during this episode. And the thing is, it was one of the goriest episodes. Sure. You know, I mean, we've had a lot of gore, uh, like Twisty the Clown and all that. That was all pretty. I mean, there's been a lot of gore. The hotel had a lot of gore. Right. Um, but this one, it's doing that '80s gore where it's like when when Rita got the boat oar through her neck, and then oh, yeah. they showed it, and right. then he turned the light on, so you saw it even more clearly. Right. Well, and the that view, was that, that, that was fantastic too. Matt Morrison sitting there looking through the fishnet. You can see him plain as day. And yep. Oh, Jingles, Jingles must have the peripheral vision of an ant because he. I mean, he must be looking like down a toilet paper tube. He can't see anything. He's like walking around like la da da da. They're standing right next to him. Hi guys. It's like really, dude, you're awful. I mean, <laughs> all three, all three of them were in the room with him, just hidden, kind of. Right. And uh, he doesn't see any of them. He does his thing, and I love how he he did the total Jason thing, where he walks in, he sees her. He's she's like on the ground, like ah. He goes over, he's got his machete. Right. He's ready to go. Sure. And he like looks around, Bro he drops the machete, grabs a broken boat oar. And then I'm like, he's gonna hit her in the head or something first. Nope. He makes sure he gets it so he gets it right down the throat. They did the payoff. They did it like she he walked over and she turned her neck open and yeah, like and she went, ah! her mouth and she went, oh. you knew that was coming. The the best though was when when Xavier turned the light on because it was like you could see everything. It was very clear. You're like, oh man. And then he goes, click. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see. And you're like, what? Why? Why did he turn the light on? You could we could see it. We know they could see it. Right. But it was just to give us that really gory look. Uh there was there was a lot of that in this one. And there was a lot of Friday the 13th. And there was, I had a uh, I had another Halloween one when yeah. when she went in to talk to uh, when Rita, quote unquote right. Rita, went in to talk to uh, the doctor, whatever yeah. her name is, uh, Doctor Hopple, um, it reminded me of the man. Is it? Is it the Rob Zombie one? When with the doc? I know they did it with the oh, doctor. Or is it- Donald Pleasance goes in and talks to the doctor at the. Does he? I can't Florida. remember. Absolutely. Um, but it's a, it's, it's that same. It one. reminded me that of so much of that. So it seems like with 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 Jingles, they're doing two things. They're making him uh, be um, Michael Myers and uh, and Jason. Right. Uh, I, I think that they're ju- they're they're using both as a template. Which one? I think something's not real, right? Like he's maybe. Maybe it's real, not like it's a reality show, but maybe it's not real like he's, once again, a Manchurian candidate. They're filling his head with these ideas sure. and having him play this character. What if um, Tim sitting in the asylum and this is just all in his head? That all he can watch is bad 80s movies? That's all that's on TV? That would be great. Oh, my Tim gosh. Terry shows up. And that would They've be- got his eyes, like, wide open. Yeah. You know? Or, Mimi, <laughs> like, or uh, Mimi shows up from Drew Terry show. And that would be great. She she could that could be in you know like episode four all of a sudden Mimi is there and she's his mom and uh, she's another killer yeah that would be great dressed <laughs> up and who needs a clown so 
So who did we miss? Did we miss anybody in this one? Well, so Rita, what other backstory? They gave Ray's backstory. What else did they go over? Oh, let's see. We saw Ray. We saw Rita. That was really it. Uh, we, we didn't do. Stuff. Yeah, but we didn't really do anything with that. All we got was that clue at the end right. uh, about Montana and and Ramirez, and we also got the the story of Rita. So we know at least what they're telling us at this point. We got and another great line: Chet's in the pit with a spike sticking through his shoulder. What kind of camp is this? It's like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh, no. he is such a bonehead. Well, you know, he's he's, he's perfect, and he's he's. I think he's. I think they're going like weird science on us a little bit because um, Bill Paxton is it Bill? Yeah, Paxton? he's just he's the one. He was the guy who was in Aliens, right? Yeah, he plays the game older over, brother, man. He, he plays the older brother Chet in Weird Science. Yeah, in Weird Science. So yeah. I'm thinking it's totally he totally is channeling him with his lines because he had that kind of whiny i'm a tough guy but i'm whiny kind of voice yeah. it's like game over game over man ask her she survived you know that <laughs> i i remember seeing that one and that was one of my i'm like this guy deserves to get every everything oh yeah everything that happens to him he deserves he deserves it so yeah but it, i mean i i love this episode and its absurdity that Oh, I had so much fun with it. Everybody. What is wrong? We got, we got, I think everybody's backstory. Why is Montana there? Did we get a backstory for no, her? No, we, we, we still don't have everybody's backstory. We have glimpses. We have a glimpse into Xavier's. We have a glimpse into, we don't have Montana's. No, we don't we have, have we have a backstory that Brooke told us. Right. But I mean, at least to be, but everybody has said it. So, I mean, Ray told us his backstory. Um, so we ha we haven't Jeff heard his Montana's story. yet. Right, we haven't heard Montana's, and we kind of heard Margaret's, but what she told us, but we don't know what the reality is. <laughs> so yeah, well, you know what? And we also don't have Trevor's. Well, no, because he said he, and we know we know Chet's. We haven't seen it, right. but we know it. But I mean, at least he told us. So we're looking for some of that payoff. Hopefully, next episode, so we can get the you know why is she kissing kissing Richard Ramirez? Now they're still referring to him as Ramirez. In, I think on it's IMDb. IMDb and on in Wikipedia. So it's well, if you notice, Wikipedia. if you go to IMDb and you look, it gives a little bit of a description of the next couple of episodes, which we're not going to talk about or spoil I here. I don't do that. Uh, but but it gives like just like one line about the next like two episodes, but it only lists the principal cast. Uh -huh. Okay. So it doesn't change names. It doesn't do anything. So IMDb is updated actually by it. Typically, it's done by the production company. Okay. So, like, when or, – or by one of the actors. Sure. Uh, I know this because I'm I'm on IMDb Pro. And, like, when I did those uh, student films, uh -huh. I went in, and they weren't registered at all. I put it in. I put who the production people were. I put who the actors were. Uh -huh. So, if I got anything wrong, what I put in wrong is in there until somebody corrects it. Okay. So they're controlling the information coming out. So if it says Billy Lord is in, you know, all 11 episodes, right. we don't know if that's true. This isn't a repository of this is what they're contracted for. This is more of a, Hey, here's the information they're giving. us. Sure. And we've suspected that with, with American horror story before. I just hadn't realized that was what was happening until I started doing this. Uh, sure. the IMDb Pro thing. So well, that's cool. I mean, you know, it's like Wikipedia. Wikipedia is just somebody puts it in there, whether it's them or a fan. Uh, right. Look at through episode three's Wikipedia. The description is pretty awful. Um, it doesn't really it just kind of goes blah blah blah. This is what happened, and that's it. So yeah, but it's yeah. A, it, it's something to get there. That, that, I don't want to say that in, it's interesting. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm in. The, the name, <laughs> That's the, all I can say at this the, point. The names of these, well, you know, two things, and you know, if you've seen the episode and you've seen the previews, they do, they they, they run over a couple things. Xavier goes and finds the cook. What's her name? I can't think of a cook's name. So Birdie, Birdie. So they have an interaction, and you know, that's funny. And then they show Ramirez and um, Jingles kind of squaring off. So, yeah. I mean, 
that's that's what they show. That's that's the you know that was a teaser for next week. So that'll be pretty cool if that happens. I mean, you know, I think Margaret kind of put that in Ramirez's head if we're calling him Ramirez to go kill Jingles and be like the true killer. So who knows? You know, who knows? Who knows? What that'll be kind of it'll be interesting. So yeah, man, but we'll we'll get there. But the the the, the names of the upcoming episodes are great. True Killers is the next one. Red, yeah, that's the next one. Red Dawn. I'm looking for a little. That's fantastic. And then um, Lady in White. There's only seven episodes this time. No, that's all they're showing okay. so far. Well, so, uh, so what did I look up? There are 11 episodes. Hold on, I can actually tell two, you. So episode six after Red Dawn is episode 100 of American Horror Story. So oh, is it? That that, that might be fantastic. That's April. Or excuse me, that might October twenty third. I wish they would have planned it for Halloween. That would have been better, but they didn't. So, and then seven, the the Halloween show on October thirtieth is called Lady in White. Yeah, I'm waiting for a little Lady yeah. in Red music. That'll be great. But that's all they have less than the Wikipedia. Yeah, it shows here that there are ten episodes this okay. season. Good. So yeah, we're right. going to go until right. November twentieth. It'll be you know. Maybe we'll get to the end of the night. That Maybe we'll get another Swayze because Swayze was in this. Uh, his brother was in this, and yeah. uh, maybe we'll get another one of his brother in Red Dawn. And, and we're, we're, they'll do like a they'll do like a flashback, and we'll find out that he was like very much Patrick Swayze's avenge character. Avenge me, boys! Avenge me! Like yeah, <laughs> the worst. Absolutely. Like, Wolverines. Wolver- <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Let's let's cut this episode. Uh, we will be back next week. Uh, one other thing, we don't know. We're either going to be on on Sunday night or Tuesday night. Pay attention to our social media; it will be posted. This one, we were a little late in posting it uh, because we had. I just didn't have it worked out. But I will for next week. I'll post the links and everything early, uh, so that you know, so we can get people in our chat room and we can get people talking to us. We've had a lot of people listening. We're just not getting a lot of interaction. Right. We love to interact. So. Talk about us or talk to us on Facebook. Talk to us here on Get Vocal. Uh, wherever you talk to us, we are going to respond. Um, and if you tweet to us, we'll definitely make sure we're watching that too. Uh, Chris, you want to give your social media? Absolutely. I can be found at uh, Blue Box Cafe or Blue Box Cafe 176. Also, GeeksCon with a Z. And we will put uh, all the disturbed links on our link tree. Once again, that's L I N K T R dot E E slash disturbed pod. Uh, but you can also find me at our Southgate on Twitter, or uh, you can find uh, Southgate media group at SMG pods. There's all sorts of ways to get in touch with us and to see what we're doing. If you go to Southgate media group.com, we have all of our shows listed there and uh, we have a lot of new things about to hit. Ooh. Uh, one that you're going to want to pay attention to sometime in the next, I think it's two weeks, we are launching a new show that is a Get Vocal only show. Nice. You'll be able to watch it on Facebook, and uh, I think it's going to be on Periscope. But it is being done right here on Get Vocal. And there is going to be a very special guest on that one. Uh, And it is, I'm going to give you this tip. I haven't released this anywhere. That show is, that episode, first episode is going to be horror themed. So if you're a horror fan, which you probably are watching this or listening to this, you are definitely going to want to check out our show that's going to be at Get Vocal, but you've got to follow us on social media. Follow Southgate Media Group, and we will share it. We'll also share it from Disturbed Stuff so you know who's going to be on and what's up. That's it. You done, Chris? I'm done. Thank you. All right, everybody, back to your cabins.